Unit 8, Lesson 3, Part 3, Surface Area and Volume of Prisms and Pyramids. So we've completed the volume portion of the lesson, so now we're going to move on to the surface area. So surface area is a measure of how much material is required to cover or construct a three-dimensional object. So one thing to note is that surface area is expressed in square units. So even though we're talking about a three-dimensional shape, we're not talking about the space that this three-dimensional shape takes. We're talking about how we would construct the um, three-dimensional sh shape. So what you're doing is you have to calculate the area of all the sides and you're adding those up. So your units should be squared units. So it could be centimeter squared or uh, meter squared, depending on your uh, dimensions. So let's try to do this one right here. So we're going to do the surface area of a square based pyramid. So it's a good idea to visualize what the shape looks like. So we've got a square at the bottom and then the sides of the pyramid are four triangles and these triangles are all going to be identical to each other so in order to calculate the surface area we are calculating the area of the base and because it's a square it's just length times width so that's where this part comes from and then the area of the four triangles so because they're all the same triangle you can just do one triangle and then multiply it by four and then you're adding it together so like I always do, I like to label my, um, my um, variables here. So the six, when I'm talking about the base, that's the length, that's the width. Um, the six is also going to be the base of my triangle. And then the 10 is the height of my triangle. So now I know where the numbers are going to go. So I can put them into my formula here. So surface area is equal to length times width, which is six centimeters times six centimeters plus four. Now you do the triangle part. So the base is six centimeters and the height is 10 centimeters. And that's divided by two. So surface area. So I do this in two pieces. So this part will be first, so six times Six centimeters times six centimeters is 36 centimeters squared plus now four times what's in my bracket. So six times 10 is 60 divided by two gives me 30. And then 30 times four is 120 centimeters squared. So that is the area of the four triangles and then you just add these two quantities together so surface area is equal to 156 centimeters squared okay let's try two more examples so we've got a triangular prism so we've got the area of the base and the area of the base so that's two triangles so we're going to take the area of two triangles and then multiply it by two and then to get the area of the three rectangles, we're going to get the perimeter and then we're going to multiply it by the height. And that will give us the area of the three individual um, rectangles. Now, if you wanted to, you could also calculate it individually, um, but that would be a lot of time. So let's do this one together. So the base of the triangle is three. The 1.6 of the triangle is the height. Now, this formula is easy to use as long as you know what numbers you're putting where. If you put the numbers in the wrong spot, um, then it's going to affect your surface area. So when I look at the side, side, side of the triangle, that is basically the three centimeters, the 2.5 centimeters, and then the two centimeters. This four centimeters 
is the height of my prism. Because remember, you gotta visualize it like the triangle is down, and this is the height which goes here. So the side, side, side of my base, like the side, side, side of the triangles is 2.5, 2, and 3. So that is probably the trickiest portion of this uh, formula. So 2, so the base is 3 centimeters. The height of my triangle is 1.6 centimeters. And that's divided by 2. And then the side, side, side of my triangle is next. So that's 3 centimeters is one side of my triangle. The other side is 2.5 centimeters. The other side is 2 centimeters. And then I'm going to multiply that all by the height of my prism. I'm running out of room, which is four centimeters. So again, I would do this in two pieces. I would do this calculation first. So if you do three times 1.6 and then divide it by two, so I'm over here, times two. So this little portion right here, oops, I put, forgot my plus sign in there. Um, so this is the uh, area of my triangles. So that is 4.8 centimeters squared. The next portion is the area of the three sides. So that is this part right here. So because I've got brackets, I'm going to do this portion of the bracket first. So the addition, so that's three plus 2.5 plus two, which is 7.5 centimeters. And then that's going to be multiplied by four centimeters, so 4.8 centimeters squared. So now I can uh, further simplify that. So that's 7.5 times four, which is 30 centimeters squared because I'm multiplying centimeters by centimeters. And then the rest is easy to simplify. I just have to add those two together, which gives me 34.8 centimeters squared. Uh, okay, last one. Um, so now we're going to do the rectangular prism. So the rectangular prism is composed of a shape with six faces. Now the way that the rectangular prism works is that of the six faces, you're always going to have pairs that match. So like this side here has a matching side there. This side here has the matching side over here, and then the top, which is the biggest rectangle, has a matching side at the bottom. So th these are two options that you can use for surface area. I'm only going to show you one. Um, I'm going to show you how to use this one. This one is totally fine to use as well, but I just find that this one is a little bit easier to use. So I've drawn out the shape here, so I've got dimensions 4, six and one. So I'm going to start by labeling the length, the width and the height so that I can then plug it back into my formula. So this four, I'm gonna make that the length. This six is going to be the width and the one centimeter represents the height of the rectangular prism. So now I just go back to my formula and I start plugging in the numbers. So surface area equals, um, 2 times the length, which is 4 centimeters, times the width, which is 6 centimeters. And I'm gonna, I might have to do this, I might have to go across here. Um, 2 times the length, which is 4 centimeters, times the height, which is 1 centimeter. And then the third piece, 2 times the height. So you see that I, I by labeling these, it makes it easier to remember what number I'm using. So I've got four times six, four times one, and one times six. So now I'm gonna do this in three parts. So four times six is inside of the bracket. So four times six is 24 
times 2, which is 48 centimeters squared. So I'm just doing each of these together. So that's together, that's together, that's together. 4 times 1 is 4, times 2 is 8. And the last portion, 1 times 6 is 6, times 2 is 12. So 12 centimeters squared. So once I have the three calculated, I can just add them up. So 48 plus 8 plus 12 equals 68 centimeters squared. All right, so that concludes lesson three.